this real quick. Okay, here we are, Norco. They do this stupid Xbox pop-up thing where they send me an email every time I have to click on it. Let's turn the music down a little bit. Um, expert mode. This gameplay mode is for experienced adventure game players. It removes text hi- <gasps> <laughs> We don't want to do that. We might want to automate combat if it's terrible, which is a very high possibility. Of. Norco, Louisiana. Shield hid the stars behind hal halogen and flame projected onto the sky every night. There was no such thing as silence. The noise never went away. The refinery excelled an endless sigh. I could never sleep, it was so loud. I still can't sleep without that sound. Sounds more like me. I like having white noise in the background when I sleep. You often dreamt that the towers were cathedrals. That the swamps listened when you spoke. That the birds became radiant spheres while circling Norco's sky. You spent your adolescence sleepwalking between little devastating, little devastating rituals. Though Blake pleaded, you decided to leave. what's happening. I didn't care, but for a while you did. You caught out on a grainer to Chicago and onward to the west coast thinking you'd never return. You wandered through the overlit suburbs of the vast American limbo. Thumbing down 99, you saw an old man crouched in a roadside ditch. He was mouthing your name. He had a familiar gaze. He was gone when you wiped the sleep from your eyes. You spoke to Blake, learning of your mother's declining health, her insomni ins insomnia, that, her erratic behavior. You ignored the urgency in your brother's voice. You headed east. You threw your phone into the Rio Grande day <laughs> and joined the armies of the Mesa. For months, you were in the company of fugitives, sleeping in nuclear tunnels, repairing what engines and weaponry. Albuquerque, New Mexico, a place I was a week ago. The war was a meme that set Albuquerque on fire. What? You escaped while the foot soldiers of a pop-out junta, 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 I don't think I've ever said that word out loud, bloodied the parched land. While hiding in a freight fre fre liner, it. You called home from a landline in a motel somewhere beyond Texas. You knew from Blake's hello that your mother was already dead. You hung up, shouldered your bag, returned to the highway. Five years had passed. You made your way back home. So we got post-apocalyptic stuff going on here. Okay. You awake from a delirious dream to find yourself in your childhood bedroom. Monkey watches you from the corner. Okay. I'm really expecting mind map. You. you. We're traveling. Down the Pacific Coast. You were in California when the summer arrived. You recall the familiar smile on the face of the old man in the Central Valley ditch. That smile burned its image into your mind. Ditch man. The smile of the man who crouched in the ditch of the highway revisits your mind. His head was smudged with Wednesday ashes and mascara ran from his eyes. Okay. There's a map. I don't really want to go anywhere just yet, I don't think. Living room. Monkey's gaze follows you as you leave the room. Oh. Man. They're really, like, pulling out all the stops here on this random stuff going on. You assume Million has been keeping the plants alive. A flyer from a show your friend put on a few weeks before you left town. 
A fight broke out while one of the opening bands played. I was outside. You didn't feel like being around crowds that night. After the show, you and Blake walked to the river back to no walked the river back to Norco. You watched the sun rise over the grain elevators. Cool January air spills through the open window. Commuter traffic glints along Apple Street as a pair of wrens weave out of the overgrown lot next door. Yes, something going on with the monkey, but we'll do that last. The laptop your parane gifted you idols on a shoddy particle board desk. Always in these games, when you don't understand a word, you don't know if it's because it's just a unique word in that world, or if it's just you generally don't know that word. Great laptop. As the screen illuminates, you notice that the signal in the house is dead. No internet. Therefore, worthless computer. It looks like Blake was using the computer at some point. He left the browser tab open. Um, okay. Get some sleep, OP. Need some cash fast? Wait, can I? Okay. Wow. January 1st or something. Modbot archived all YX2Q posts at SCP Anglers YX2Q. O5, o, o sexula. O, o5 exula. O sexula. Anybody still post here? Nope, place is a wasteland. You're posting. Nice one, jackass. Wanted to run something by you, gents. <laughs> Has anyone ever typed out gents? In a forum on the internet? Maybe a British one? Was knocking out Sack a Light, Sack a Late in the spillway, saw a big round glowing thing in the sky. Call that the sun, OP. Funny. Talked to somebody else, seen it too near the Parish Canal. Nothing like this, but birds in them swamps be acting weird. Looks like it was made of glass, maybe. Would glow real bright, then not at all. Moved fast. Best pick I could get. All kinds of shit been happening out that way. Get some sleep, OP. Need cash fast? Allow the TF kind of name is Quack Job. Just like the name sounds, full of lunatics. Apps a way of getting you to join a cult. Worse than them people living in the mall in Kenner. You can't trade that coin they use on hardly any exchanges because everyone know it's a GD Ponzi scheme. Seen this exact thing, OP. Still there? Seen at the base of the upper suction. My head hurts. <laughs> Monkey, your best friend? A childhood gift. You spoke with him often when things got difficult, but then you left. He sat there for five years collecting dust. Five years. His eyes fill with anger as he challenges you to return his gaze. Mm -hmm. Staring contest part one. Glyphs. Glyphs will appear and flash a pattern. Match the pattern to meet monkey's gaze. Ready. Uh. Okay. Okay. You successfully meet monkey's gaze with a cool assurance. However, his expression is unchanged. You stare more intensely. Circles will appear over monkey's eyes. An outer ring will shrink to the perimeter of the circle. Click the circle when the outer ring locks into place. Oops. Your stare was no match for monkeys. Anger melts from monkey's face. Take monkey. You drink monkey over your you drape monkey over your shoulder. Stare at him again. Stare at him more. I think that's everything here, right? Wasn't there a didn't it say there's like a highlight button? Oh. X highlighting. Maybe we do want to do that. Text highlighting? Well, we'll decide later. We'll keep it on for now. That wasn't me. 
I think that was you. Okay. Your mom's unfolded laundry. Cool, cool. A family photo album. Look. Yellowing pages of disposable photographs. Your grandfather, a peculiar look in his face, impossible to read. Your mom staring at blank, blank, Blake through the obscure lighting. He's dressed as a vampire, tugging at someone's waist, pleated khaki shorts. A photo labeled duck, scene of a barbecue on the lakefront. The man at the center points playfully at the camera. His face is obscured. Turn the page and there's blue. Your father, though, you've never thought of him that way. Your father's name is Blue, I guess. An easy smile on his face. A canister of dip shoved into his front pocket. He set the book aside. A letter from Shield Oil sits atop a stack of mail. Shield Oil community notice. Dear neighbor, please be advised. There will be elevated flaring at the site of our number five stack near Good Hope on the evening of Thursday, March 19th. This will pose no health risk to residents. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact the Shield Norco Office of Community Engagement. A photo of your mom holding Blake, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's get a move on. Let's get a move on here. Maybe we'll just go outside. We don't have to read everything, okay? Cat, sure. Your mom fed the neighborhood strays. They must be hungry since she passed. Let's get a move on. Let's get out of here. Little sister. The turtle! He crawled out the trash can! Big sister. Don't touch him, see? He's dirty. No, he's not. Turtles are always clean. They live in water. Smart girl, smart girl. Trash water is not clean. We got to go, see? Just let me steer a little longer. He's pretty. I do? P.I. Private investigators. We smoke for you. The snowball stand is closed for the winter. The lights are on. I guess we're going here? I don't know. You knock. No answer. I do P.I. Floodgate Tavern. What are we trying to do here? Are we trying to find our uh, brother? Lou, Pops Pierre, Catherine, Duck, Duck, an old friend of your mom's, and your memory of him is scattered and vague. Blake, your brother, is oblivious. Your grandma once said that she didn't expect much from Blake. She said he was short-tempered, oblivious, and couldn't focus. Blake was sitting in the chair across from her, staring down at a tablet. After she left the room, you asked him how he felt. I feel fine, he said. Why? Because of what Gran said, he responded. He looked confused. What'd she say? Your brother. I want to go down to every single... I think the mistake I make a lot in these games, and it's not going to sound like a mistake, but it is, is that I tend to click on everything and read everything. And... I know you're supposed to do that to some degree, but the problem is I think you get so bogged down in these details that you don't like make progress in the game and I get bored, <laughs> essentially, is what ends up happening. Uh, so we're gonna try to like do something and make some progress before we click down every single pathway that we possibly can. I mean, I bet we should go to the tavern, right? Wasn't there a tavern? Yeah. Floodgate Tavern. Many shield workers gather here after their shifts is closed. Should be open later this evening. Okay, it's not. Sometimes you do have to read everything and click on everything to even progress, so I'm just saying. I'd rather look around at places than just read text after text about people I might never meet. That's weird. Oh wait, I couldn't tell if it was voice or not, but it's not. Well, 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 look who's back. What happened? Carnival forget you beside the road? And you even brought your little doll. That's cute. 
Wow, Troy, you look like shit. <laughs> Not even to start with you. How come the rest of your family is so chill, but you so uptight? Like you know anything about my family. Bleh. Ain't like Norco some big metropolis. I used to go out to La Branche with Catherine and Blake while you're while you were busy. Uh. Hell, what were you doing? Bleaching your hair or some shit? And now they got all these clowns like you saying Catherine dead. They wouldn't let her go that easy. Get lost. You don't get it, do you? Lucky you got somebody like me to break things down for your dim-witted ass. Your mom was excavating all along the rim of the lake. She used to pay me to help from time to time, matter of fact. She needed somebody smart. Somebody vigilant. Somebody like me. Especially with Shield snooping around. I seen some wild shit out in them swamps with Catherine. So another thing I like to do that I actually enjoy in these games um, that might not be, I don't necessarily, I like to play the character that has been given to me versus like, I don't think this guy's believing a word that Troy's saying and I don't think he's going to be inquisitive about it from what we've seen from him so far, right? I don't believe a word of it. Ain't nothing, I ain't asking you to believe nothing. And anyhow, this ain't story time. Not letting you in this gas station. Goddamn company that runs this dump did me dirty. They swapped me with an ATM machine for speaking truth. Ain't let nobody through till I get an apology, very least. Oh, auto continue. You clearly deserved it. Go huff some glue. I'm done messing around with you. Get lost. I think that's the insta light would use for you. Do we have Troy in here now? Shield? We've almost got all these filled up. We're doing good. We're doing great. Troy. Troy knows your family. He was buying pills from Blake and occasionally helping your mom with her research. Oh, so Blake's into some drug stuff. I remember... In the description, there being something about gangs or drugs or something. So I think maybe that's a bit meta, but I think he's in, in, in some sort of game. He says she was conducting research in the lake. I could be equally wrong. Pretty interesting. They have all these marked off already. I'm halfway through the game. Okay, maybe one third of the way. I actually don't know how long this game is. Probably not very long. Um... Film crew. Two men stand pensively above a corpse. Sure. As you near the set, a small energetic man jumps from his chair. Attention, dumbass! Can't you see we're trying to shoot here? What are you filming? It's a detective drama called None of Your Goddamn Business. Any other questions? Sounds cool. So is this like a murder scene? Keep it up and it's going to be. Hey, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second. You from around here? Nah. Just another transplant, huh? Then get moving, I got no use for you. Again, I don't feel like we'd admit that. I'm expecting to get stopped by Troy, so. Yeah, he's done messing with me, get lost. I can't go in the gas station, which for some reason I oh so desperately want to go. The sprawling shield industrial complex. Long ago, it was a plantation land. It was plantation land. Cheap and abundant along the Mississippi River. The refinery grew in stages, slowly displacing surrounding neighborhoods. The chemical annex came online later. Children of the enslaved became the neighbors of the machine. Are you just gonna throw that at me? Lights. Everywhere, metal halide probing the river's expanse. Coated patterns of warm sodium and cold LEDs winking, thinking, knowing. Something to decipher in all that Norco light. Pipelines. The webwork crosses high and low, over and under traffic and water and concrete. Like veins, like gossamer, like neural circuitry. Carbon and alloy and stainless steel. Among the columns sits that catalytic cracking unit that rocked the town. I remember, Blue. You only think that you do. 
When he died, part of her did too. Discount home floodgate tavern. Okay. A tour. Okay. It's not creepy at all. A memorial languishes in the river mud. A two by four cross, plywood plaque, cut cairns of pulverized concrete. Sprayed haphazardly onto the plywood is a remembrance. Here pass the brave freedom fighters of January XW11, whose cries of liberty echo through the generations. In much smaller lettering, a different hand scratched fake across the bottom of the plaque. A lone horse drinks from the stagnant water pulled along the riverbank. A man sits on a pile of floatsum, his head buried in his canvas jacket against the sharp air. The man's gaze fixed on the opposite bank of the river, never turning to you nor the horse. Can't stand that horse. Lots of stupid in this world. Stupid people, stupid horses. Couldn't agree more. He spits on the dirt at his feet. You know what all they dump in the water? Hell of a cocktail. He spits again, wiping a string of mucus onto his sleeve. What you out here for, anyhow? Ain't you heard they got a criminal on the loose? Bringing a law around here, making things harder for the rest of us. Best be sharp, young one. Okay. Like Apple Street. Thanks, this kind of was the gas station? Okay. Apple Street. I can't talk to the two girls, which I don't know why I would want to. Ma'am died. The cancer metastasize. Metastasize. Yeah, metastasize. 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 That sounds more, more more correct. I am a doctor, by the way. I don't know if you know this, but um, I actually am. It was in her liver, then her lungs, then it was in her brain. She was on chemo. Never finished her third course. At the hospice on Jefferson Highway, Blake said the traffic shook the building. He left before she drew her last breath. Alone with the morphine drip and the rattling rattling glass, that's how Catherine died. Your mom. Shield is an oil refinery. Shield Gulf South is a regional subsidiary subsidiary of a transnational oil empire. It holds a large share of leases in the Gulf of Mexico and refines crude oil right here in Norco. The chemical annex sits on the other side of town from the refinery. It produces the feedstock for plastic consumer products. Shield owns half the town. Shield. Finished off. Get you. Ooh. Is a vague memory. You don't remember Blue, only the things he left behind. Photographs, cologne, tools, the name that your mother kept. Even the pictures that have survived are too faded to make out. Enough of that for now. What do you think? No? I guess I haven't even clicked on this. Your grandfather, Peter Pops Pierre Melancon, he passed away when you were a teenager. He seemed to court controversy, though. As a child, you never understood why. Is that all of them? I guess it is. Hey, what do you two think about... Okay. So... My only path... Seems to be okay. That's creepy. Flaking, flaking paint of the statue. Inspect further. The face is especially deteriorated, framed by a system of cracks. Okay, creepy. Care about that? Three times this house is flooded. The first flood is barely a memory. 
placing your feet on drenched carpet, your mom and grandfather ripping out sheetrock, sitting in a small RV in the backyard, setting dolls on a cluttered table. Oops. You were 14. The pumping station felled during a heavy rain. You were in class watching the clouds move up river. You got a text message from your mom. Stay in Destrehan. Destre, 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 Destrehan. I'll come get you. For two weeks, you shared a hotel with your mom and Blake. She spent all her days gutting the house. In the evenings, you would sometimes help. I flood my kitchen constantly. Or at least I used to. First two years I lived in this place. Every month. Flood my kitchen. I don't want to talk about it. Another pump failure. Your mom hired contractors with the insurance money. She said she was getting too old for it. You were bitter. You blamed her for not selling the house sooner. You stayed with friends in New Orleans. Wait, what? Fourth. The fourth flood will follow a slow hurricane and it will be a calamity. It will leave the entire region submerged as critical as critical levees breach. There will be a massive blackout that lasts weeks. Much of the sewerage infrastructure will be damaged beyond repair. The embattled federal government will do nothing to assist. It will bankrupt the region. Small militant enclaves will form along the high ground of the Mississippi River. They will take to piracy and hijack commercial shipping vessels. Private mercenary forces will retaliate in kind. Slowly, industry will flee this hot zone. The old river control structure will collapse from neglect and sabotage. The Mississippi River will again change its course. Norco, an old abandoned refinery town on the ghost of a river. Your house will be squatted and then raised. Okay. Okay. Guess we could try turning on the TV now. You turn on the television. A chaotic distortion of your mother's memories flash before you. Tune in. Shelf. I don't think we're gonna care about that. Do, 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 do. Wait, wasn't? Maybe we should. Oh, the kitchen. Hello. Your mom's painkillers are spilled across the counter. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh my god. Million. Million sits in her characteristic slouch, lost in thought. Her carapace has taken on the rusted and weather-worn quality of the rest of the machinery in the yard. You recall the night that your mom showed up with her. You and Blake stayed up past dawn, porting, poring over pirated API docs. Her ragdoll mass was slumped on the floor as you wrote the routine procedure. You wonder if such memories hide behind her constellation of eyes. The robot regards you casually. <laughs> Speak. Okay, you're awake. The sleep in years. The sound of the refinery did always help you sleep, didn't it? In any case, I'm certain I was no help. She gestures towards the motorcycle at the edge of the carport. I was turning over the engine on that bike to test the coils. It was quite noisy. But they're in good shape now. All I need is a fuse, and we can use it to get around while I finish repairing the truck. I heard the phone ringing inside, but I had my hands full. <laughs> Jeez, I really- I didn't even mean to go out here. I missed the kitchen, and then all this out the back. But that's good, because I was kind of losing what I should do. Uh, where can we get a fuse? Were you expecting a call? Why would so many people be calling? Your mother left behind a lot of loose ends. From what little I know, I gather she was conducting research for a client in Fat City. I sense that many people would like to acquire that data. I am unaware where she has hidden it. Perhaps Blake knows its whereabouts? 
Who is this client? I haven't a clue. These aren't things she discussed with me. As the cancer spread, she became more guarded with her research. She always kept strange company. An occupational hazard, I suppose. Who exactly w would want to see that data? Your mother spent her entire life researching this town. She knew histories that others have forgotten. History has a lot of value in this place. So anyway... Were you expecting the call? No. Your brother, blah blah. I wonder where he could be. Likely at the bar or bookstore if I had to guess. Where can I get a fuse? The gas station. Your mom's old four-cylinder 350cc bike. It has extensive rust and wear. So we missed the bookstore apparently. A disintegrating crab net. What else we got here? A million. Was a fugitive. Once a fugitive, now just a relic. She spends hours in stasis beneath the house like any discarded thing would. Your mom was conducting research for who? For a client in Fat City. Client. Your mom was conducting research for a client in Fat City. That's all you know. Pick up. I bar. Truck. this phone at? Maybe it's in the laundry room. You were always frightened by the laundry room. There's apparently an attic as well. A mic what? Oh, wave. Tell me the story about everything, okay? What was that sound? Um, I don't see a phone anywhere. Boxes. Maybe we need a light of some kind to do anything up here. This is such a weird, like, useless way of doing them. Like, I'm never going to remember the order any of these are in, so why not just put the words there? Okay, living room. Is there a phone somewhere? How do you hear a ringing of a phone when a phone simply does not exist? I notice they're different colors sometimes, but I don't know why. Books. So we're looking for her research, which could be in some of these places. I don't really want to read the book, so let's do that. Here. Sticker. A sticker from grade school half peeled from the window. Flyer. Or on the laptop. Okay. Maybe we need to flip through these books. I'm not gonna read them because it's like the research might be Um nope, I don't see a phone. Let's quickly go back and check. Pretty late. I don't get 
Why it looks so late if it's not open. Um, so I guess we have to do something here. There's no bookstore. There's only one location to go here, right? What do you mean bookstore? Like, does that say bookstore over there? Okay, I don't think we can find the bookstore. Yet. So we're gonna try t talking to these people with again, or not? Never mind. Freight lure. You really want to get through? Go get me some of them pills your brother was selling. That might persuade me. Fight. <laughs> You joking, right? Trying to get wrecked? All right, then let's go. Monkey K. Monkey K. Monkey. What was that? <laughs> Boy, I'm not giving this full pills. Oh, this just added the Blake part. All right, time to go get a fuse. Yes, I'll take one fuse. I detect that you have merchandise in your possession. You must remove any unpurchased items from your backpack and scan them in order to exit the store. Drag the item from the inventory to the target. Wow. Really? Dog food. Can die. Voice. Okay. Can I get some liquid? Please. Ah, look, he's out there. Oh, this was what he was complaining about because he used because they replaced him with this thing. You scanned the fuse. Thank you for your purchase. Peace. Alright. All done. I'm go all the way out here. You got a fuse? Good. We'll be able to use the bike to get around town and, until I'm done with the truck. It concerns me that Blake still hasn't returned. He's been spending a lot of his time at Sarpy Paperbacks lately. Perhaps we should look for him there. Let's go. Zoom zoom. I'm really liking this game so far. It's got a nice... Atmosphere. I mean, it's not an F and B game. <laughs> the sky bleeds a color you knew as a child. The sky bleeds a color you knew as a child. Okay. Airline highway passes beneath your, your feet. Million has joined your party. Interact with party members by clicking their portraits in the party menu. If you're stuck, they may be able to help. Million shouts over the wind. The bike runs much better now. You can use it to get around during your visit. What's it been like around town? Shield has been expanding since you left. Catherine took your grandfather's boat into the lake to investigate reports of construction in the swamps along the shoreline. She assumed it to be unpermitted shield activity. She is unable to find any evidence of it. However, it was clear that she found something during the investigation. What was it? I don't know. Perhaps you do. Haven't spoken to her in years, how would I know? Has Blake not mentioned anything? Nah. In any event, something drew her to the lake in, months, in the months before her death. 
again. We're trying to be ourselves here. Reports of construction. Your mom was investigating reports of construction in the lake. She found no evidence of it, nor who might be behind it. Was conducting research in the lake. Unpermitted shield construction. Something in the lake. I like that. I like that it. I didn't realize there's gonna be some investigating going on, but I guess we kind of always are sort of doing that in most point and click games. Uh. Wait. Oh, here we are. No, we do not want to interact with teams. I can tell you this. A young man leans against the station wagon, wagon while scrolling idly on his phone, his silhouette darkened by the fluorescent glare of the payday lender's sign. Checks to cash. Right, we don't want to interact with these shady individuals. You wonder how anyone can read in this dim and cluttered bookshop. As your eyes adjust, you see Blake's childhood friend, Erica, waiting behind the counter to greet you. Okay. I don't know why your voice broke. I don't think. And Million, when did you get back to town? Hmm, I've been in Norcoak for quite some time. Perhaps you're misremembering, Erica. Weird, I guess so. But anyhow. Okay, you're looking rugged these days, old friend. Word on the street is you clean Troy's clock. That guy, my god, he's such a clown. Glad he finally got a little taste of what he deserves. I bet that'll come back somehow. Just doing my part for the community. <laughs> Definitely. But enough, but enough about that troll. I was keeping up with your travels online, but haven't seen you post in a while. I tossed my phone in the Rio Grande. I respect that. Seems more and more common these days. I've been avoiding my phone as well. Helps that the connection has been so erratic. Been hearing of people chopping down cell towers, tearing fiber cables out of the ground, trying to rip the internet apart. She nods into the ensuing silence. Back because of your mom, huh? Sort of. I know it wasn't always easy between you two. I was around for some of the arguments. Blake would say she was a great person, but a terrible mom. I just hope you and your brother can find some comfort. Yeah, it'll be fine. You always kept your cool. It's your brother I'm more worried about. Have you seen Blake lately? Yeah, I saw him just yesterday. He hasn't been around the house. He has not. He said he was heading to Floodgate Tavern when I saw him. He must have gotten wasted? I know Gus lets him sleep behind the bar a couple times. Let him sleep behind the bar. Did he know you were coming, Kay? He never mentioned it. Figured he'd try to avoid me. He'd try to avoid me. Ah, uh, yeah, he can be like that sometimes. I've had to be delicate with him recently. If I ask him how he's doing, he goes quiet. If I offer help, he doesn't return my texts. It's weird, like, making these decisions about someone you know nothing about. Like, we've seen, we've had no interactions with him, but we're telling people what he's like. That's, that's a weird feeling. Um, we're, but we're sticking with, like, our, our character here. He's broken. Sometimes I see glimmers of light in his personality, but it's rare these days. And what I mean by that is, like, we, we, earlier we were talking about how oblivious he is and all that stuff. And he's, like, doesn't even pay attention to what his grandma's saying. So, it, but it seems like when we're talking to her, it's like he's more volatile and um and he's like a little you know emotional and stuff whereas the other thing kind of paints him as more reserved and in his own world um whereas that's really what it seems like who who we are um but then i don't know it's like i don't it seems like he has two personalities and i have two personalities and that's confusing to me so i don't know I don't know if I like the way this is set up for me to select those things. Like people should be telling me how he is, not me 
telling other people how he is. Is that's I guess what I'm getting at here before I've met him. <laughs> like once I've met him, I'm, I'm more than happy to sort of get his character down. But it's, it's I don't know. It's it's just it's a weird thing that's kind of breaking my immersion a little a little bit here. <laughs> Sometimes I see glimmers of light in his personality, but it's rare these days. If I hear from him, I'll tell him to find you. Alright, I think I'm going to take a little break here. Go play with the dog a little bit. Because um, he's looking a little little sad over there. So I have to go play with him. So I'll save my game. Oh yes, thank you game. And I will definitely be back playing some more of this because it looks pretty fun so far. I mean, we haven't really done much, but we're investigating the cause of our mom's death. Uh, there's some shady corporate stuff going on. My brother um, is going to be, I guess, the central, uh, not character, but like the central mover of plot, I guess, <laughs> I would think, it seems like. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is looking pretty cool, so I'll definitely be back in a bit. <laughs> 